He's got all the time in the world. He's gonna go for it again. Simply's holding it down and Pronex ah! missing. Oh no! TSM gonna win. <laughs> and they're shouting again. That was Pronex with a quad kill in the pistol round. And still not enough to win it. Oh. Killing people while defusing is not easy. No, especially from that angle. Zipmix played that perfectly. Showed his back. Made as small a target of himself as possible. This though. And it's actually pretty surprising to see Fnatic not be able to follow up on the strong start that they got. Two guys down to 10 HP. But, oh man. Yeah, it happens eventually, but just a bit too late there. So, kind of unfortunate. I think we've all seen it happen a couple of times. So, don't want to go too deep into it. It's Galil AK, though, on Fnatic and Armor on the rest so um yeah they're, they're just gonna strike right back here with the bomb plant so they could have waited until the third round and bought all ak's but they want to put the pressure on early against tsm here and why not it sort of worked on dust too didn't it well Protonax has got the tech nine this will be a bit more effective than that glock if he can get close quarters going for the peak hoping to be able to get lucky here device is holding that angle now oh it's all meister to land a shot but still nonetheless device annihilated and there's the opening for Fnatic. JW sneaks his way out through main, looking to backstab, and he will find the target. Gets headshot, though, and Kerrigan will be able to shut him down. Brings it back to a four on four. And actually, that's a huge kill, because JW could have opened everything up on this A site with that kill onto Kerrigan. Now, it's still tough work here for Fnatic, but Pronax, instant headshot. And, you know, I spoke too soon. Yeah, he wants revenge for that last round there. Scout and two M4s are what's left here. Bomb is making its way out, and this could still work out well for TSM. They just need a couple of kills here, and some of the Fnatic members are already low. Crimson all of our left here, and Carrigan picking up a third kill of the round. The bomb is dropped with 18 seconds left, and they know where all of it is. They just spotted him, making this a pretty tough clutch for him. So many angles for him to worry about. He doesn't know where the second man is as well. And Zipnik's currently on the mission. Looks the wrong way and Olafmeister punishes him. But with six seconds left, there's literally no way now for Olafmeister to win this round. Kerrigan's going to be able to back off onto that B site. And as we see, the clock runs out and Olafmeister uh, left all by his lonesome there. He got some kills, but no round win in the end. And that's going to be really frustrating for Fnatic. That's twice now they've come very close to pulling off a big win. Yeah, I mean, it was a great start. This kill and the next one from Pronax really opening up everything. But then they do take a lot of damage, which means even as they're in a 4v3 there, they they end up being very low on health, and it just wasn't sustainable. Yeah. So a couple of good rounds here for TSM, although they're low on money, very low on money, and Fnatic know it. I was about to say, I wouldn't be surprised to see Fnatic keep going for the bomb, for the buys, and they do. Force up. Ulfmeister, though, eats some mate damage right off the start, but he's still going to be able to get the kill on a Kerrigan. And that's, that's all they need, Fnatic. Now they've got that man advantage. They can start pressing home. The rotation should be coming through here for TSM. And Olfmeister doesn't check his angles. Gets caught out by Dupree. So back to a four on four. More importantly now, Fnatic, they're on pistols. They don't actually have the rifle to work with. That was an important kill for Dupree there. Making sure that rifle doesn't go to waste. Crims with a nice headshot. Taking down the vice. The one deek in full effect. He's going to leave it into a 3v3. Dupree playing right at the edge of the smoke, trying to even catch somebody. He actually gets uh, found by Flusher, who jumps and takes the shot and ends him. So now it's Cajun and Sipnix. And Flusher actually drops an MP9 over to JW. Crims with another dig shot. And Cajun all alone now. Two guys very heavily tagged. That's why he's got his pistol out. He knows if he runs into Flusher or JW, it's all going to work out just fine. But that bomb is making its way all the way to the other side. It's not even necessary because JW was left behind to lurk wow. to pick off Cajun. But Fnatic, now they managed to just completely shut it down. Once they get the advantage this round, they don't lose it. And I think the turning point was basically Flusher. The fact that he stays alive versus yeah. Dupree like that in a situation where, by all rights, he should have been a dead man. I'm very surprised that Carrigan was being that aggressive early on because, first of all, there was no real need. They knew that that one AK was in play, so they had to be a little bit worried that they, they were going to run into it. Also because Carrigan has been playing that aggressively for a while now. If you remember it, uh, down in Cologne for the last major, they were playing Renegades on this map, TSM, and Carrigan kept being super aggressive uh, towards main and... and it was very successful, but that also means almost every other team will have looked at that and thought, okay, we know Carrigan is going to be playing close to that entrance, so all of sort coming. Jesus, really awkward stuff. Carrigan trying to make use of the ladders, but the crossfire is too good by Fnatic. Nowhere for him to go. Well, Dupree's midair. Oh. <laughs> Jumping CZ to the face. Sit down, Dupree. He's really having a bit of a rough time right now, Dupree. We've seen moments from Device, from Cajun, but Dupree... Seems to be struggling a little bit right now for TSM. Needs to be stepping up and getting those kinds of kills. Well, I mean, that one we, is a, you know, we can let slide, but the one versus flush on the round before, that's that's something basically that needs to be 
this is what I was saying as well when it comes to Dupree, like his, how he stands out. It's like he needs that strong start. He's one of those momentum players that really needs to be able to look at the scoreboard and see that he's somewhere close to the top. Because then he can just keep pushing. If he starts off slow, it's really tough for him to get into the game. Yeah, they need him right now. They need everybody on this TSM side. 2-2, two, two, so still early days here on train. But we've all seen what happens once Fnatic really get up and rolling and they can be very hard to stop. Cajun with a good shot there, taking down Flusher, but on the other side of that wall, Carrigan would have run into a lot of death. Ooh, and Dupree, man, he nearly actually gets up JW there. Kerrigan up close, will take out Crims. There's a gun for Kerrigan to work with. But Olfmeister now making his way towards that A sign. He manages to pick off the vice. JW trying to open things up here at Alley, but there's still a man blocking his path. That's Dupree with the 5-7. Cajun at range, tapping away. Not going to get the kill, though. And it's still a two-on-two two now. Fnatic pressing forward, and Olafmeister gets a bit ahead of himself. Gets taken out by Dupree, so that's now down to Pronax. And a 1v2 working his way onto that B site, but Kerrigan is here with the AK. Oh, did he spot him? Well, now he certainly did. Pronax is going to go for the plan. He's got time for it here. And not going to fake it. Just holds it down all the way now. Can he actually clutch this? It was so close to the pistol round of him doing it here when the bomb was down. See if he can do it this time around. Jumps up into the middle. Smoke and flashbang still on TSM. And they are trying to see if they can group up. They don't have a kit, so they've got to move really quick here. And no one dying just yet. Pronax is being closed in on here. And they're going to double team him. And there's going to be enough time for the defuse as well. So TSM will retake it. But these are some very expensive rounds. And Fnatic are probably going to buy here. They will definitely buy here anyway. We'll talk about a solid play, a solid round for TSM to win, though. I mean, winning in Eco is huge, you can see. Their money just skyrockets. And that's definitely going to hurt Fnatic a lot. No win bonus yeah. there, down to 1400 bucks as far as, the, win, as, far as the, the money they get at the end of the round. And that is a very schmexy PC. Mm. I, that is the, that's the cabinet I have at home, just in white instead. Oh, you have that one of the Heat Gaming yeah. uh, cabinets? Yeah. Oh, the, the NX, whatever they're called. Yeah, um, I don't know either. Yeah, and I, said yeah, like I can't. I just it's, I, is that they call next. I don't know. Either way, um, it, it's quite nice. I like it. Cajun there going to be taking down Flusher with a nice AWP shot. That's what he's there for. And he drops one of the heavy hitters here on Fnatic. So that's a really good start in the sixth round. TSM do need to stabilize. They need a lot of rounds on this first half here. It's so important. And well. They're still kind of floating around right now. It could still go either way. Even a man down. Fnatic is still dangerous. Olafmeister is still alive, for example. JW works his way out of Pop Dog, but he doesn't see Kerrigan. So there's a little bit of a lucky break for TSM. More of those. That's what Dan the Danes need to get away with taking risks. And look at how tight the defense is on TSM at this point. One man holding close. Three guys holding on that A site from Pronax. Sneaking his way through, but the angle is covered, and he'll get caught by Dupree. Nice crossfire oh, there by TSM. Yeah. I'm wondering. Looked for a minute like they were going to try for a boost, but um, <laughs> not quite happening. 2v5 at the moment. JW and Crims are left, and they've got grenades and weapons here, but they're just simply going to get overpowered at the end. Sipmix and Cajun with a kill each, and that's going to be the end of the round. Four and two. And just enough money, it seems, for Fnatic to make another buy happen. And they got to be careful, though. If they start ecoing, it might just be what gives TSM the, the boost that they need economically and maybe also uh, mentally. Yeah, exactly. Oops. There we go. Exactly. I mean, if they can get uh, just a little bit of breathing room, that's all TSM need. I mean, we can see what, they can, what they're capable of. They can land the shots. And those kinds of picks where they're able to just slowly pick apart Fnatic, that makes all the difference. Nice early HE there to cut off Crims, or at least drop him down to half HP. That's not going to make him pleased. But it seems like Fnatic, last time they went in, it was Pronax kind of just doing his thing, and, as well as the pistol round. Now, Olaf Meister sneaks his way out, doesn't get the kill, tries to touch down a nade. And Device barely gets out of there. 25 HP left on him. Yeah, a little bit scary. Over at the B-bomb side, those Sipniks holding alone here. He's got a Molotov, which means if they actually push him back, he can probably deny the plant at least for a little bit. But he's going to have to call for backup. There's the first smoke going down. Molotov to counter, and that will buy some time. They can't really make it through. So Fnatic's push at least on hold for a little bit. Yeah, they're getting closer to the rotation as well. As you can see, Kerrigan holding very close to Pop Dog. There's Zipnik's first line of defense. He gets caught by JW. But well, we already have Cajun B out there looking down the line with the AWP. He chimes in, gets a kill, gets a second one, takes out Pronax, but the smoke goes down. And finally, Fnatic will be able to get that bomb plant. Three-on-three three situation. Still a couple nades left on both teams. 
But now it comes down to covering the back line and whether Dupree's gonna get that timing right. He heard the steps. He might be able to get the backstab here on Olafmeister. Well, it seems very likely also Cajun making his way on the high ground. There's the stab and Olaf is going down. Now it's Flusher and JW left. They got full health and it's a good headshot. Cajun down. Dupree spraying madly and he takes him out. So JW now to 1v2. Misses the first bullet, then grenade on out. Might kill device, it will kill device. Bomb still being defused and it's going to come through. He ducks right in time and JW, that's twice now in one half. That Fnatic, they're on it, but they can't kill the guy defusing and they're going to be very upset about this. Very close round. Uh, you got uh, Wolfmeister going for the trademark. Uh, forehead swipe there. That's when you know. It's one of the first indicators. Water starting to boil. Yeah, his... his you know, pulse measuring watch is ticking and any minute now he's just gonna go green and rip TSM apart. <laughs> is that what we're getting at here? <laughs> don't poke don't don't poke the beast. I mean, right now, they because they got that bomb plan, it's not the end of the world for Fnatic. They're still gonna be able to buy, but you know, that's that's a solid two to three rounds now they should have been able to pick up. And I don't there like it this. is. Yeah, really aggressive hopping from KJ. Now that may, I mean, obviously getting the entry fag is great, especially taking out Olaf Meister, but now Fnatic have so little map control. TSM know almost everything that's happening. You see they've got three people in this bomb site as they come in. How did Flush get that kill? No way, Simnix. Oh, that's almost humiliating. Pronax and JW left. We need that in ultra slow motion. Oh. There it is. Dupree waits just long enough before giving away his position. Pronax is gone. JW gets the headshot, but still a lot of work left for him here in a 1v3. Bomb dropped out in the open. They're going to get eyes on that as well now. And Device, he sees it coming. There's the shot. Spray goes wide, and it's not going to happen here for JW. But yeah, man. Can somebody take that clip and just, like, put some audio on top with someone that says, Wee! As he jumps in. I, just, I need that. Just a really long wee. Wait, are we gonna? Yeah, we're gonna get it here. Look at this. Just imagine. Wee! Wee! And he's in. <laughs> this is stupid. Oh, I love it. All right, well, that is gonna be the round in favor of TSM nonetheless. I mean, that early kill from Cajun meant that TSM had pretty much confirmation that it was gonna be a B push. They knew that there was no one else there and no one in T spawn that Cajun could see. He fell back pretty quickly, but still, it means Fnatic are just left with very few options. So now it's no armor and a couple of pistols here. Yeah, they're getting shot out right now, Fnatic. It's very difficult for them. Good nade timing as well there. Really breaking up Fnatic's flow as soon as they try and get, you know, close to finding a peak outside of uh, Pop Dog. Boom, smoke goes up and they're going to have to change up. So it's a bit frustrating now for Fnatic trying to find a way onto a bomb site, but it looks like it might be B site again. Although they are starting to work their way back to Pop Dog. So no, actually, A site might be in the ticket here. They don't really have any nades left though, so it's going to really turn into a bit of a YOLO rush. Hope yeah. that you can get that running headshot. Yeah, a bit disappointing. I wish they'd had just one smoke, one flash, something, anything to set up this play with. Otherwise, you're right. It's just going to come down to random running headshots, which, I mean, fanatic, it might work, but um, they're up against some pretty good rifles here. Cajun with a kill. Pronax will get one in return. 5-7 in play, though, and an easy kill there. Not much going on here. JW going to go down, and that's going to be 7-2 and two in favor of TSM. They seem to be, at least they're surviving with a bunch of players here now, finally. Yeah, now they're really starting to get that breathing room going. It's on Fnatic where the pressure is going to start mounting. They're starting to run out of rounds here. Of course, as a Fnatic, they can come alive at any point in time. But TSM, they've got the bit between their teeth. And now I see double op on the T sign for Fnatic. This is their solution. They say, okay, if you're interested in taking duels against us, well, we'll just set up so that pretty good odds that we'll come out ahead. Single op still for TSM. But JW... There it is. Strikes first, takes out Cage and removes him from the upper halls. And now he's able to back up and try and change up. Look for that A site. And they are sleeping on out here, already spotting out Carrigan, who is once again playing very aggressively here. And they see it coming. I feel like Carrigan might be a little bit too predictable in that position. And has to be careful he doesn't end up uh, going down another round. Molotov to buy some time. But now they get plenty of time, though. They don't worry about it. A good boost here all the way in Pop Dog to try and look over. This is something we've seen from Fnatic before, but it's very clever. Yeah, it is. Look at that. That could actually ruin the day. He decides to peek up on top of that train or Kerrigan, zip makes any one of these guys that they move forward. JW's going to be grinning ear to ear. In the meantime, Olaf Meister's hoping that Cajun or somebody that, well, not Cajun anymore because uh, he's dead, but Dupree, if he wants to make his way over here, take a peek into Alley trying to get info. 
Olafmeister will be waiting, but now the push begins. And it comes down to whether they can hold the line. The shots were key, but it's not going to happen. Flusha opens things up, taking out Zipnix, but Dupree will be able to pick up the first one, and Olafmeister closing in behind Dupree. Dupree, is he going to get the timing? He's doing damage, but finally Olafmeister is able to take him out. Restore order. Yeah, and somehow he doesn't go down to Kerrigan. It was actually shooting him in the back, so that's... uh. That's even more impressive for all of that. Bomb goes down, and it's going to be very tough for TSM to find a way back in and defuse this one. I mean, they've been lucky a couple of times with defuses. I don't think it's going to happen this time. Crims playing close, and Device sees it coming. It's going to actually fail to spray a bit. That could have been dangerous. Has no smoke left, so just going to be all down to skill. Olaf not going to get tagged by that grenade. He was on the other side. Tabs it once. There's a lot to finish the round, and Fnatic will win it. No shenanigans this time. Yeah, right back in control. Great after plan positions as well from all, from Fnatic right there. Once they got the time to really split up, so difficult for TSM to deal with it. And that all stems from Cajun getting caught by JW. Cajun yeah. has been so effective holding Ali so far. I mean, apart from obviously the rough start that they had at the beginning of the half, but ever since then, right, he's, he's just getting kills. But Cajun has always been that for TSM. He kind of just floats around on the map, it seems. Depends on where he wants to go. So this round, once again, over on uh, the A site, bolstering the defense there. But he has that op once again, so we'll see where uh, Cage is going to be able to find that pick to start things off. Well, look at GW, very aggressive out here. Doesn't run into Carrigan just yet. Cajun being rolled into place to try and see if he can snipe oh. down. That's a great grenade, look at that. So much damage. Olafmeister, he doesn't care about that, but he's got that op. One shot will do the trick here. And he's going to have the advantage now. Does he get the flick? Missed shot by Cajun. That could have been golden. Taking out Olafmeister, that would have been a huge opening. But Kerrigan peeks forward and takes out Crimson. and nobody's there to get the refrag for Fnatic. Yeah, very, very cool stuff. And also Kerrigan switching up his play a little bit. That's going to be a kill for Device and turns around. I think he even saw a second man there. And this is a complete clean up here. 1v5 for Olafmeister being shoulder peaked here. They're trying to bait out the shot and Dupree not going to be quite good enough at it there. Olaf saw it coming. Still should not be able to win this round here. It's a 1v4. He'd have to do an ace clutch to try and win here with 30 seconds. And the bomb is all the way across the map. So no chance at all. Easy kill for Carrigan there. And triple, in fact, for the Danish captain. And now they've got the double off TSM. They get it for free as well. Not too bad. And what's worse is that Fnatic, their money just got reset to 1,400. They have no options. This is not going to be pretty... You know what they need? They need that orc back on the CT side, I feel like. <laughs> Device. Yeah, I, I want to see I swear, man, that was a misfire. It, it definitely was. <laughs> Someone did, I mean, a bunch of people did link, like, the full list of countries that have used it, you know, throughout True, history. Yeah. And it was like, it was like a hundred countries long, so there's almost no way we could have guessed wrong. It, it would have actually been incredible if we didn't guess a country that at some point put it into use here. A bit of a easy round here for TSM so no issue at all you know why the org is is, is a kind of a special weapon compared to every other weapon in, in go as far as i can know why is that well i mean obviously in the game it has no it doesn't really matter but but it has the bullpup uh, mechanic which means the if you look at the gun the magazine is behind the trigger which means the actual barrel is going to be much longer mm -hmm. which means it's more accurate and uh, has uh, like a higher muscle velocity and stuff like that. it's very very cool um yeah that so yeah gun facts but that's there uh, you go guys that's that's one of the reasons why it's such a popular weapon in in the real world, not in not in global offense. Not really though. It used to be very popular. Just ask Delpan. But uh, there was know. there was that one week definitely where it was good. <laughs> well, look at this here. Flusher taking down Carrigan. Long range spray to pick up Cajun as well, and it's back into a three v three with the bomb down. Flusher another headshot to take down Dupree. What a round here. Flusher back in full effect and sneaking up behind. Is he going to get a fourth one? He's got the timing for it, catching him on the ladder. And Device is going to go down. Guess it's going to be an ace. Flusher sprays and he's going to get it. All five members he destroys TSM in a very explosive round where they even, I think, lost two entry frags. And Flusher just turns up. Oh my god, and he just showed emotion as well. I could have swore I saw a shadow of a grin there. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, it's on point. This one, this is the one where I was like, Ugh. you know, is it going to end here? But Cajun doesn't get that shot. And this is a thing of beauty as well. Bam, third bullet gets that kill. Flush is like, stop talking about the Organders. We've got, <laughs> we've got AKs here. That's all you need. Why do you think we never see the Krieg? This is a really quick execute. I mean, it's a quick smoke setup for A, quicker than normally. And device getting that first frag is going to be really annoying. Sipnik's also playing close to the smoke, but look at this. They've got four people in this bomb side. Now they're realizing that it's going to be a B hit instead. So Flusher's kill is important there, but the rest of 
The backup is shown up here, Dupree. He's a good kill and double in the end for Device. Yeah, nice rotation timing there by TSM. That's all it really boiled down to. And also Zipmix holding up close like that. He even trades one for one. He did everything he needed to. And I think that one kill, is, that's what we sometimes refer to as a, as a high impact kill. Because yeah. Fnatic set up those smokes so fast, TSM are going to notice how fast that is. They're going to be making a call, wow, okay, the really, really quick smokes on A, which makes you think it's going to be a quick A hit. But they set those smokes and they run. See, compared to now, how slow they are this time around setting it up. So, um, yeah, I, I really like Fnatic's thinking here, but TSM, I think especially because of Sipnix there, that was very important. Dupree gets the shoulder peek, and Olofmeister, no joy for him. Could have possibly had the opening kill there, but Dupree playing it way too safe. So well played there, and this is the 15th round as well, so a forced buy situation here for Fnatic, hoping to get a fifth round on the board, whereas TSM, they're sitting, they're sitting pretty. They got everything they need out of this first half. Even if it ends 10-5, they should be feeling very confident. So not going to get any easier here for the Swedes. Who have also just slowed down completely the pace. Yeah, hardly used any of their nades. They're still holding on to practically everything. I think right now they're just kind of like, you know, whew, you know we didn't actually give up the entry frag this time. <laughs> Close, but not quite. Cajun is low on health, and we see them setting up for two of the smokes that are usually thrown into the A-bomb site. Not all three. So just going to be sort of half a wall, but they're missing the one on the middle train. But there's no one holding there, so they're going to be just fine. JW with the one pop flash out and Carrigan sees it coming and turns around for it. Now is playing a dangerous game here as they are getting closer. Hasn't reloaded yet. Device picking up two kills before Flusher takes out Carrigan. And pushes forward. He's looking to get that flank going. Trying to catch somebody out in the back lines. Crims looking in a connector. Little does he know. Device is boosted up. Peekaboo takes out Crims. So now a two on four situation here. Fnatic no closer to getting that bomb plant. 15 seconds left. Needs to get this follow up kill flush up, but it's not meant to be this time. And Zitmix will be there. Shout out JW. 11 4 at the end of the first half. That's the TSM that needed to show up at the beginning of this best of five. Third map, they're finally starting to get the results. And so now, well, going into the second half, it's going to look really good. If they pick up the pistol, we could be right under Mirage. Very little time here. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So. Pretty exciting. There were so many of the early rounds that were so close and Fnatic kept sort of forcing up a little bit, trying to see if they can break TSM, but they managed to sort of outlive that initial aggression. And now they're not in such a bad position after all here. 16th round starting second half here, third map in this best of five champion showdown for Frank Bright Masters. So I hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. It's been some uh, interesting maps and I think well, once we get onto Mirage and Inferno, Sparks are really going to start flying and they already are here. Pronax, early headshot, pop flash in, Carrigan, he can't see a thing and he's going to get executed. Absolutely sublime play from Pronax. God, that was beautiful. That mid-air headshot as well, but that pop flash, Carrigan, two shots, gives away his position. Pronax just hunts him down and now, well, he gets a little bit tricky, although they are doing terrific damage here. Three players very low for Fnatic. Pronax down to six HP. He's got that Tech 9, but Flusha gets overwhelmed by Device. Everybody so low off the map. Pronax puts some shots through, but Dupree's gonna catch him mid-air. Olfmeister finally able to return something, and JW doesn't get the shot. Point blank. It's all on Crimson Olofmeister now. Two on two situation and the backstab coming in from Olofmeister, but Zipnik's holding close enough. Might have heard the steps and now they have to worry about that. Exactly, slows it down. They've still got 45 seconds left on the clock. So rather than get shot in the back, TSM decided to wait and see what's gonna happen. This mind game from Olof though. Everyone right now is so low on health. It's ridiculous. They've got like a combined health of less than 50 right now between four players. I can't believe it. So, 25 seconds. They are still sneaking out toward this A bomb site, but if somebody falls off a train right now, they can end up dying. Dupree making his way closer. He's got that bomb and he's got the perfect position. They can't stop this. They don't have any kit, or sorry, any grenades to stop it with. They do have a kit here on uh, Crims, and it's important they keep that alive. All of my still going to get the good angle. Instant headshot there. And now it's all on Sipnix. 1v2. And they've got a feeling about where he is. And look at this position. This is brilliant from Olofmeister. Looking for a shot. Sipnix still alive, though. And Crims, he's got the kid. If Orf goes down, might be a bit of a problem. Sipnix can't get out. And the bomb is just going to get defused. He was simply locked in. That was smart play. So well played. I mean, the communication is all between the two of them. The fact that they're sitting side by side. They can look at each other's monitors as well. Just see what's going on. I mean, everything going right there for Fnatic. And just frustration for Sipnix, really. When you got 8 HP, what the hell are you supposed to do? Oh, but this, that right there, yeah. Pronax, come on! But then, I mean... Pronax is so good with these pop flashes as well. That's just like, incredibly smart. He's got to be one of the most effective players with pop flashes in the game. 
And you see him even sort of aiming back towards Ivy in case there was a third man coming. He's, he's just got everything covered. Very impressive. Oh, the Tech 9 force by coming up from TSO. And this off of the bomb plant, and they're just going to go ahead and get it right down. Nice defense so far from JW, though. Zipnix will be able to take him out, and it's just trade kills all over the place. Krim stays alive. The damage fairly even across the board. There is still a P90 picked up on Dupree. Cajun B in the back line gets that instant headshot onto Olafmeister. No time for the Swede to react. And now a man advantage holding onto this bomb site. TSM, wow. they're doing it. I can't believe it. It actually works out. P90 Tech 9 M4 here. Flush a spraying for his life with that UMP. Hits oh. a headshot. Might still be able to make it. The reload is in. He's going to try and win that fight, but not going to happen. Dupree will take him out. That yeah, is it. They had a bunch of Formasters, which is another bull pop weapon, actually. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite work out for them. And um, now TSM are very close to winning the third map here, which they need to. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be Fnatic straight into the finals of uh, Fragbad Masters Season 5. If uh, TSM win this, then there's still a chance we could get a, a bit of a change in that. No, that's true. And just to point out as well how things change here, it is uh, all five maps to be played. Even if Fnatic were to somehow miraculously bring it back here on this map and win it 3-0, we're playing all five maps in the best of five because there's money on the line. Again, great pop flash there. Zipnik to open things up, taking out Flusha, who's completely blind. Now man advantage here for TSM going on to the side carry again, just extending that lead. Cajun B, Dupree, everybody chiming in. Where's Device? We need a team ace. He needs to go and find Olafmeister now. And he's actually in the right spot for it as well. You wake it, should get your wish here. Team ace? See, but Olafmeister, he's, he doesn't believe in having fun. He's gonna, he's gonna ruin it. Think so? Oh, oh it's gonna happen. You're right. Team Ace for TSM, and that's gonna put them at what now? 13 rounds? Is that all of Meister shouting? That was that was all of Meister saying fun as well. I think so. A little bit of frustration there. But all of Meister is one of those emotional players. Oh, okay, well he said something different, but I, something I equally shouldn't say on the stream. But uh, what did he say? Something. <laughs> what did he say? It rhymes with cat. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> well, we're gonna go into a round here where it's all USPS all the way for Fnatic. No armor, nothing, and they've got a bit of a stack going on in B, which seems to be rotating back to A, but it's obviously too late here. We're almost certainly gonna be at 14-5 here. Don't see Fnatic making their way out of this one, so... Yeah, I I don't see this comeback really happening. I'd be quite impressed if Fnatic managed to do this. Yeah. Uh, this, this would be, well, I mean, basically, like, Envy level. Fnatic versus Envy level comeback in alone, basically. Can't do that every, every game, so... TSM should be picking up this map. At least that's, everything is pointing towards that. They've got all the momentum, they've got the money, they've got the confidence. And they really want to take this to Mirage, where they still have a chance at running it back. Uh, yeah, the pre. Oh. Okay. Okay, then. I, I think we got another contender here for eyebrow play. Forrest, it's time for you to, uh, you know, pick up the gondolin and try and see if you can you can show these people how it's done. Got a couple of different uh, contenders for it. Grenades being locked over the wall in towards that A-bomb site. JW charging right into the waiting arms of Sidnix and Flusher caught with a grenade in hand. He's going to go down. This was supposed to be the big round for Fnatic where they finally get to buy and they make it work. Now... The reason they were going so aggressive is because they actually have no grenades, or they had no grenades on the CT side, so waiting around, then putting up smokes and buying time doesn't really work when you can't buy any time. So they had to go aggressive, and it didn't really work out. So Pronax are trying to save what he can here, but I think he's already been maybe hurt by Dupree. It doesn't seem like it. Seems like Dupree might be just off, and Pronax, well, in the back line looking towards CT, so no joy there. You have to admire how quick TSM are as well. As soon as they got that opening kill on the JW, they immediately speed up on the Flusha, and it just kind of all falls into place there. One kill after another. Crims tried to put up a fight. He got two kills, but TSM, they're just so quick. They can be so explosive. This is TSM at their best. This kind of map right here, they're just shutting down Fnatic at every turn. So now... Man, and it's not going to get any easier. It's only going to get more fun, guys. Because these are the kind of, like, random 50-50, who knows which ways it's going to go, really, maps. Which we started off with, you know, Cobble, Dust2, and Train. Now we get to start into, we get to start get, uh, going into known territory here. Mirage and Inferno are the last yeah. two maps for this best of five. I mean, that's, that's a pleasure right there. That's two excellent maps to end a best of five between both of these teams on. TSM acting right now like they want to just keep the pressure on make sure Fnatic never really get a chance to get back in here a lot of grenades already out in that courtyard but they will wait just a tiny bit and 
See if they can set up a bit of a play for Ivy. So interesting spread going on here. Good patience being shown by TSM. And they're going to peek all together in Alley as well. So it's going to be like one big firing squad exactly. Bam. Now they've got the control of it. If anybody peeks out here for Fnatic. You gotta love that as well. Overlapping Dupree, crouching so that his teammates can shoot over his shoulder. Pronax now knows. He spots the man moving out. What is this flash? God, Pronax! You're so sexy! Oh, he doesn't get more than that still. That's the damage done. Yeah, and you were gonna marry this guy. I could see why. That was a triple flash. If he had just peeked a little bit wider, if he didn't get stuck, I think, on that corner, uh -huh. pretty would have been a triple spray down, even with the FAMAS, which is not so easy. Device 1v4 here. Not a lot of a chance, but um, that was a very cool flashbang. So nicely done. That's gonna make a lot of people mad at matchmaking. Yeah, I mean, it's it's such a simple concept, really. I mean, it's just, you know, it's like an intuitive one, but he just gets the, the, the perfect timing for it, actually. Boop. Oh, yeah, he gets caught yeah, on the edge. Yeah, he gets stuck. Oh, he could have had it. He would have yeah, had it for sure. He would have had it, I think, so. Bit of a shame, bit of a shame. That would have been a wonderful moment. Regardless, still see, I mean, yeah. He had the idea. He had it, and he managed to pull it off as well. But that doesn't change the fact that uh, nine rounds separate these teams, and uh, TSM is still all the money to buy what they want. So it doesn't get any easier for Fnatic. Aggressive flashes and smoke going down, though, and Pronax looking to change up his position, getting into the back line now instead of holding aggressive on Alley. And so Fnatic, right now, they're just kind of wondering what exactly TSM have in store for him. Still kind of dark on the intro. Moving up close there, Cajun B trying to see if he'd find the opening. Pronax keeping it on lockdown. Down by Ivy. Bomb still all the way back here. Someone has to go and pick it up eventually. They're just looking for an opening frag, TSM. They want to see if they can weaken the defense a tiny bit. And might have been an opening there. A bit scary. JW almost getting caught jumping off the train. Yeesh, and Kerrigan caught on his heels right behind him. And Kerrigan getting into a very cheeky spot. This could get nasty. He's about to hamstring the defense. They have no idea. Oh, they line up for him. So dirty. Dupree robs him of his glory. Takes one of the kills, but the damage is done. Zitmix taking out Pronax as well. That's Alley open. Quick rotation coming through, and Flush Show will be able to take one man down. But he's down to one HP, and the bomb will get planted with 20 seconds left. Although, man, he's looking for that angle to get the heals in. Yeah. A painful way to die one bullet at a time to the feet, but not going to happen. 16-6 in favor of TSM. Great finishing touch there by Carrigan, just infiltrating the lineup.